Welcome back, and this is very exciting now because we're going to upload some of our learning and put it into CoSpaces. And I'm starting with this slide again because if you want to be a CoSpaces Jedi, you need to know how to navigate your virtual world. And remember, two index fingers, two pointing fingers, two nose picking fingers are better than trying to do everything with the fingers on one hand. So here comes the exciting bit. We're going to click Upload in the bottom left hand corner of the CoSpaces screen. Click on Images, then click Upload. This is an example of where to upload things on a Mac, but this will depend on the device that you're using. Then the thumbnail will appear here, then we're going to drag it out into CoSpaces. So let's go through that. Click Upload. It's already selected on Images. We'll click Upload. I checked before where the image was. Now I'm ready to open, and you'll see a thumbnail is going to be created very shortly. Once that thumbnail has been created, I can drag it out into my virtual presentation space. Please bear in mind as well that it's a good idea to put it close to the wall because we're going to be attaching it in a moment. And you can do everything that we did to the wall um, to this image. You can, um, you can resize it, you can translate it up and down, you can move it left, right, backwards, forwards, and you can also rotate it. Now we have your image in the virtual space, we're going to attach it. So I've clicked on the image, I've pressed A, and all these blue dots will appear, and that's where I can attach my image to. And I can also resize once I've done that. So let's click on the image, see all the blue dots, and here I get a choice of where to put it, thinking about I need to make it visible for my audience. If I click up here, are my audience going to be able to see it? No. So let's undo that. Let's click A again, and no, that's no good either, so undo. I'm going to put it in the middle of my display board to make it as easy as possible for my audience to view it. And then I'm going to resize it because I'm proud of my learning and I want people to be able to see it nice and clearly. Now, the two objects have been attached, and when I click on the display board and resize it, the image moves with it. But when I click on the image, the board doesn't move. So bear that in mind, please. You'll notice here, I've selected the wall, that rotates, but when I select the image, just the image rotates. So you need to make sure that if you want to move both things, move the object that the image was attached to, and they'll both move together. And if we want to see what it's gonna look like for our audience, we press play, and hey, look, doesn't that look amazing? And I can zoom in and out, so I can walk closer, and I can look around, and what a spectacular place to be displaying your learning on the plains of the Serengeti at the foot of Kilimanjaro. So it's over to you now, and I would like you to have a go at doing the following. Add a wall, resize the wall, change the material and the colour, but remember about contrast, upload an image and attach it to the wall. And you're doing this in pairs, so I would like you and your partner to have both done this please. You can have a wall each, or you can even have a couple of walls, and each of you are going to display your collage that you did last week. If you didn't do the collage last week, don't worry, you can choose another bit of learning that you can display. It could even just be a screenshot of something that you've done in Google Drive, for example. That's super duper exciting, and I really look forward to seeing the different places that you're going to be displaying your learning. And the following week, we're going to be looking at adding some text, making it more interesting for our audience. I'd like to finish with a big shout out to Curtis for letting me use his fantastic collage as an example. Thank you very much.